Hi guys, um, I just want to share with you um, recent 3D print um, and this was this doll, I mean the bigger obviously scale, on a bigger scale print I would say and this was printing from TPU so normally I would print from PLA which is like a plastic likewise and it's not flexible it's quite sturdy hard and uh, so on um, and this one is if you look how it comes it comes like this it's bent basically it's like a <laughs> just like a um, rubber really it feels smooth and it's very um, I mean, it's very flexible. Uh, the prints become quite flexible as well. And so you can see I'm pressing it. So it's quite hard at the same time, but um, uh, soft. It really reminds me of vinyl, really hard vinyl. So vinyl is not um, biodegradable, obviously. It's and get brittle through with the time and... Um, so the vinyl dolls, for example, after a few years, let's say after 10 years, might actually get very brittle. And that's why some of the Ibiza dolls, their vinyl basically splits and um, uh, deforms. So this material apparently also biodegradable. So I'm not sure, maybe after a few years it's going to just disintegrate. Probably not. What they mean is if it's left probably to or exposed to elements, it will decomposed um after a few years um so it was not a challenge to print though i thought it would because some people were saying who printed in tpu um basically thermoplastic that's what it is uh thermal blah 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 plastic um thermal thermopolyurethan blah blah, blah. <laughs> sorry um Anyway, you can Google it if you're interested. And apparently, well, like I said, I'm very similar to vinyl, but it's plastic, which is, I think vinyl is plastic as well, but kind of, of plastic. Um, I was hoping that printing in this material will give me a bit of more uh, friction uh, to for the BJDs so that they less... Of it smooths, but I thought it was going to give it more rubbery, so the joints will slide not as easily as with the PLA. However, that I was mistaken, they were even worse because they become very smooth. So I had to put some micro pore in there to stop that sliding, and the same on the back. And because uh, um, regardless how you string the doll, it just literally slides so easily with this. Uh, joints. Um, I applied just really basic face up, and it takes any kind of um, primers really, um, just like a plastic, like a resin. I would say, even you can um, use the same face up materials like for the resin. Uh, so this is scale one quarter I printed. So this is a smart door head which I modified, which the prophecy had. So I modified it. Um, but the body is from this Thingiverse, one of the artists who created the body, which is very similar to smart door, but obviously now it's a bit uh, in a smaller scale. But what I wanted to show you another thing, which could be potentially used quite well with the TPU. So I printed this. Uh, shoes and although they soft ish um, I, I just can't get them the right size I was trying to get for smart doll and it's a bit tight although it, it doesn't really give as much as I wanted to give in terms of flexibility so that was that's kind of my hope but it didn't work and but when it's prints a bit thinner so so I printed this shoe which I damaged because I'm trying to remove the support 
that's the problem with this because when you print with the support it's quite tricky to remove it afterwards you can actually cut it out with the scissors but um, things like that you see the support here which was left if I try to remove it it will peel off the whole shoe so that's why you have to be mindful how you support the model during printing but yeah, so I was hoping something like that. I can print some shoes, but again, and the good thing printed is uh, <laughs> the goggles from Minions. <laughs> so you can potentially boom, and the holes are printed as well, pretty decent. It's quite funny material because I have to put this in a dryer. Like it's like an oven, really, but well, a small oven, I would say, <laughs> not oven, but special dry for the filament every day. Otherwise, it attracts the water quite rapidly, and you can't print it, start bubbles up in the printer and start creating these funny strings like hairs. Like, but that's just a matter of uh, adjusting it, I think. Um, so yeah, this was my experience with the TPU and uh, I'm not sure I'm going to print another doll uh, with the TPU again. Probably PLA is a bit better in that regard. Unless, unless, um, I haven't got the 3D scanner, but if I had 3D scanner, I could potentially scan the smart doll or Dolphy and print the parts for them or even kind of modify them in in, um, in the mesh maker which is like a 3d program you can do some minor thing adjustments in there and yeah so you can print the parts of the body the only problem is i can't find tpu in colors other than like really vivid colors black orange dark brown but there is nothing um skin color like um pla for example so the, the, the skin color yeah. that's kind of my experience with the tpu it's not a bad one but it's just different so um Maybe if you're interested, yeah, we'll show you some models I printed out. Ooh, just generally 3D printed BJDs, dolls and so on. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you at some point later. Bye-bye.